sorry, Flatoid. <laughs> Flatoid. Flatoid, please. Please. Try and be a good judge of character. Everything you state is nonsense. Flat Earth is nonsense. I just, I cannot get my head around this. Did you honestly believe that an actual drill bit would start to sort of deviate and drill like it rather than straight down, start actually going in through the earth? They can't go deeper. That's what I was going to get out of Flat Earth. The only thing that's interesting with that for me and a point of curiosity is that we've not bothered anymore in any way. Nobody else has bothered. Why Why stop? Why stop trying? So it would seem a very easy thing to continue doing in multiple sites, but right? there's nothing more. Like, stop. Yeah, like where's the 10 mile hole? And then the, the 15 mile hole, you know, like progress, guys. Oh, the, 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 maybe we destroyed I, that technology. Just pay for process <laughs> to bring it back. <laughs> it's too painful. If if they claim like the Falco pendulum has precession because Earth rotates underneath, if you're gonna stick a drill bit so deep in the hole for how many hours, don't you think the Earth would be heating against it? So again. They claim that precession happens because of the Earth rotation, like the focal pendulum. Now if you're putting a a drill bit down a long hole for many, many hours, wouldn't it also be showing for precession there? No, you're attached to the non-inertial reference frame even in their example, it would make no difference. Like drilling an hole through the roundabout as you're spinning, isn't it? And you're fine. Well, unless yeah. you go through the bottom Guess of the roundabout so. and reach something that isn't spinning, but that isn't what they're suggesting. Yeah. So, no, sorry, flat side. Any Globers in Discord? Uh, the okay. Globers in Discord will only give a two-bit answer to this question. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> you, yes, thank you with your blunt answer again. <laughs> You're very sharp today. <laughs> I have a day off, Adam. Sharp as tungsten. Any evidence of the R value? Go ahead, Chris. <laughs> Yeah, did you want to add to me? <laughs> uh, no. I was going to add a pun, but you 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 cut me off, so. Oh, no, feel free. <laughs> it's late now. It's too late. I was going to say, 10th is like a drill sergeant. Boom, boom! <laughs> <laughs> that was well worth drill it. Thank you. <laughs> I take that as corporal punishment. Terrible. <laughs> Ruben you can't, you can't it's ever ignore the puns, dude, because it's the only thing that's keeping our minds sharp, because the ballers don't anymore. <laughs> I like the sharp one now. <laughs> you used it twice very well. <laughs> but that, that is to, to be got... honest, some of Tenth okay. Man's puns are actually harder to figure out than ballers' arguments. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Screwing around, guys. We did actually, we did discuss this on yesterday's show, that was something we did discuss. So, as a, car as a consequence of there being very limited argumentation to have to overcome on the globe side we're having internal discussions currently which uh, i discussed this with wits it gets it actually in yesterday's uncut and after show the brand new show that went out on my second channel yesterday and bob nodell and wits it were both in there and both me and wits it were both of the same mind which is try and keep these <laughs> keep these animals off each other <laughs> nevertheless um it was pointed out that this is progress you know it's basically us discussing amongst ourselves where till now there's never an opportunity to do it there's always something to discuss there's always some bullshit claim that we've got to actually overcome or discuss or detail or whatever whereas where in the last five years have we been in the privileged position to just chat amongst ourselves without any concern whatsoever that there's some more important underlying claim that the western world suddenly been exposed to that needs to be debunked it's just not it's just not the case in 2020 right the the well, argument for in the in the first point which is the earth curve is the horizon is dead so here we are in the trenches sat around having a brew now i do apologize for the crudeness of my setup but 
people deny that we rotate 15 degrees an hour when a simple experiment can prove that we do rotate and you can even work out your latitude on the globe via a slightly more comprehensive experiment, shall we say. This is just a demonstration. Now I know Level Earth's Observer is thinking that we come in like a wrecking ball. La la he thinks his crane should be doing this. Oi, oi. We ro rotate once every 24 hours. So imagine that point there taking 24 hours to get back to where it started. At this rate, which is slow anyway, an ant certainly wouldn't feel this. I'll get there within about a minute. So I'm, I'm going hundreds of times faster than I should anyway. But I'm deviating. Foghole pendulum. The reason it needs to be pushed is because we do rotate so slowly. But there is a deviation. There wouldn't be within this one because it's such a crude setup. But if you did go like this against the spin of the earth, you will notice after an hour there is a 15 degree deviation. A brilliant experiment I often see FTFE show is a guy had put like a paintbrush at the bottom so that was sweeping past the paper and it had a beautiful beautiful pattern and he worked out where he was on the globe using that very experiment there you go flapsoid a drill bit certainly wouldn't deviate 15 degrees an hour you sir are lost 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 and i am trying to help i genuinely am call me a fake all you want but i am here to show you who the real fakers are go out there and test these things yourself we have curve and we rotate flat and motionless plane dead and before you think earth spins like that not at all once in 24 hours extreme slow rotation man 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 we're trying to help you, buddy. We genuinely are. <laughs> but you're not doing yourselves any favors by just staying in echo chambers and massaging each other's egos, laughing at ballers. Just come for a chat. Come for a chat, Flatzoid. Please. We're all human. But anyway, enough of that. We all know, obviously, Nathan Oakley. Any ballers found the R value yet? Any proof of an R value? Any evidence of the R value? Go ahead, Chris. And I kept thinking, I never really hear R value mentioned on the side of reality. What is an R value? I better search this up so I can know how to combat Oakley's wit. An R value has absolutely nothing, and I mean nothing, to do with the shape of the planet, Nathan. This is what our value is. Right, here you go, Nathan. So, if you'd like to find out what our value is, I will help you within your search. R V A L O U X B L A N D R value 
explained Today we're going to talk about R value and what R value really means. So R value stands for resistance to heat. So when you see insulate R13. <laughs> Oakley and the gang, you're going nowhere. Step out of the echo chamber, out into the big bad real world. Do an experiment, dare to be wrong. Do you dare? That is the problem. Or do you just wanna be right? With a few thousand people that also think they're right. Snap out of it guys, I did. It's actually quite easy to prove the globe. Thousands of ways, I list them often, and you often do anything you can to dance around. Ooh, fallacy, fallacy, ooh. If you did get to the end of that, thank you very much. I hope you had a little laugh. Oh no, I certainly did. All the best. <laughs>